everyone. Hope you're all having a great day. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you what our master bedroom looks like and how I incorporated a Montessori inspired environment for our nine month old baby. So in this video, I will focus mainly on just showing you what the decor and the room looks like. If you have any specific questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I can do a separate video on that. I want to start off by saying that there is no right or wrong way of approaching sleep with your baby or your toddler and in the Montessori community uh, you know there is an emphasis on early independence even from a baby from uh, six months old having them in their own room um, on a floor bed in a separate space and for some families that works great but I just wanted to do this video because there are others like myself who uh, are Montessori alumni and who love you know the approach and who live live it uh, who approached I approached sleep a little bit differently and my mama instinct said to continue co-sleeping and that's just what works well for our family um, and I just wanted to show you physically how I set it up to also promote a little bit of independence for our baby as well um, so again there's no right or wrong way it's very personal and just you know you're doing great do whatever works for you and your family so a few of the main things that you want to have or um, consider having in the room that you're sleeping in whether it's co-sleeping or having an independent room for your baby is the floor mattress so you'll see in the video that we have actually two floor mattresses we have a king floor mattress and um, for us and then a twin floor mattress uh, as well they're, they're both mattresses but we don't have a box spring on them so they're right directly on the floor and I put a carpet underneath just to um, maintain a little bit of warmth because we do have cold winters here in Canada so uh, you can put a big carpet on the floor if you have hardwood and just simply place the uh, mattresses directly on the floor so the twin mattress is for my baby and then the king is for myself and my husband. Um, so that's the first thing is that what you want to have. The second thing is uh, a self-care corner or a station. And I just simply used uh, an old little wooden stepping stool and a small basket and I put um, her toothbrush, her brush, her comb, and toothpaste. Now, my nine month old doesn't have teeth yet, and so, but it's again, it's just for her to visually get familiar and see what is going to be coming soon. When she does get teeth, is the teeth brushing. Uh, I also put a mirror just behind it so she can look up and see herself. And she has a little bit of hair, so I do slowly comb her hair in front of the mirror so she can see. Um, another thing is I used the uh, wooden mobile holder that my husband built. Um, that was when she was an infant, so we would hang the mobiles uh, from the ceiling, but also from the little wooden mobile stand. And I just used that to hang a few of her clothes up on it so she can see as well, um, get used to her environment and make it feel and look like it is her room, even though she is sharing a room with my husband and I. As you can see, it's very minimal, very simple um, for now, and I'll be updating it as she gets a little bit older. Uh, in a few weeks, I'll be changing things around and. If you're interested in seeing the transitions of what I do to do things differently, uh, leave a comment below. But here is what our master bedroom, co-sleeping Montessori inspired room looks like with our baby daughter.
helped and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below i love reading and responding to your comments don't forget to like this video share it with your friends and i will see you in the next video bye